All right, here we are in the stadium field, the doubles championship, 2013 world championship. And on the second station, that's Jack Dean that just broke that pair. Bailey Glenowinkle next up. All these shooters broke 100 straight in the doubles event today. And we were a little late getting to the stadium field, but we're here now. It's a beautiful day here in San Antonio. Uh, I would say mid 80s, uh, just a slight breeze blowing uh, uh, out from, the, from station four. Here's your leadoff shooter in the shootoff, Todd Bender. Followed by Clay Baldwin. <coughs> All right, Jason Ward's been shooting great this year. And there he is. He shot a lot of international skiing in his youth. He can point a gun. Oops, he missed the low house. Jason, out of there. Don Snyder, your former executive director of the NSSA. Oh, misses the high house. And he is gone out of the shoot off. Larry Cyphers, shooting the automatic. And now this gentleman, who I'm not sure who is, has a Lindenwood vest on and shoots international style, low gun, look at that. Is he giving anything away? Is he, is he, he's an, he shoots with a low gun and some most would call that a handicap. And then you have Jack Dean, brother of Eddie Dean, who has uh, won the Harvard All World Championships. Glenwinkle, and I'm not sure who this last gentleman is. And they come back to four for the second time. Yes. Bailey Glenwinkle. Bailey Glenwinkle is her name. She's a Texas shooter, uh, second year at Texas A&M. Uh, she kicks most of the, the men's butts here in Texas. Hi, Don. Uh-oh, there goes Clay Baldwin. Out of there, Clay's been so hot. He's in the top two or three in points this year for the whole thing. Did not quite negotiate that pair. Larry Cyphers out of there. They're dropping pretty quickly here. The pressure of the stadium field is indeed intense when you get in, in here shooting for the championship. Jack Dean handles the pair. Back in a moment. All right, that's Sean Dullery, the famous international shooter. Uh huh. Now I know who he is. Yes, he's an international competitor, one of the top ranked, I believe, at some time. International ski tenders. There's, there's, uh, that's why he shoots low gun. Let's watch his form here. He says, these American targets are easy compared to what I normally shoot. <laughs> and his day is over, but a great day it was for him. We can't forget the people behind the scenes. There is uh, one of your shoot managers, Al Magyar, who handles the shoot-offs, of course, with his announcer, Billy Ray Suggs, and one of the best referees, and always on the shoot-off stadium field, Stormy Weatherford. The trio of them talking over, they're either talking about uh, what's 
what's going to happen in the shoot-offs or what they're going to do later tonight. I'm not sure which. There's your executive committee man from Zone 3, Tom Pavlak. Mike Jones. Mike Jones. Of course, it's Mike Jones. It's Mike Jones. Mike Jones is a hell of a shooter. He's always low key, not yet the most expressive shooter. Doesn't take time on the pad. Gets up there and shoots. Mike Jones. Oh, and there goes Jack Dean. Jack just missed that hybrid, and it landed in a ghastly full piece at the stake. And Bailey takes the nose off of that one. And there's Jack, applause for Jack Dean. There he goes. All right, here it is, the crucial last pair. When the pouches get lighter, the collars grow tighter. Here we go. Oh, no problem for Todd. Yes. He's been there once or twice. Once or twice he's been in that position, yes. Oh, Mike, Mike the, misses the high house and is out of there. Sean Dullery says these targets are slow compared to mine. She hammers the low high house, a flat one, and she hammers it anyway. And she's going to the second round of the shoot-off. And there they are, your three finals. That's the podium, fellas. That's the podium right there. We'll be back after this commercial message. Okay, we're back for the second round with Sean Dullery leading off. The coach of Lindenwood, the famous international shooter, the coach at Lindenwood. Now he's on the podium for the first time at the World Ski Shooting Championships. This may be his first world shoot. I don't remember ever seeing him here, but I may be. And now uh, Todd is shooting tail gunner and Bailey in the middle. Here we go. Second round, doubles championship, stadium field. San Antonio, Texas, General Ken Pletcher shoot off stadium field. <coughs> he handles the pair with ease. Oh, what a, what if Bailey could win in front of her home crowd? Bailey's home is no more than five miles from this gun club. She lives near Holotus. And the crowd would go would erupt if she happened to win. Believe me. Or she has to get past one of the greatest shooters of all time, arguably the second greatest shooter of all time, Mr. Todd Bender. A tough bird. One went high, one went low. I was looking through the viewfinder. An unusual pair. She handled it. And now Bender to answer. Bender gets perfect targets, of course. Bailey sure doesn't, sure looks seasoned out there like she's used to it. She's not looking nervous at all. These other two are seasoned professionals. Bailey's had a lot of experience, but. And there goes Todd, the high five gets him. He is the bronze medal. And it's now down to the seasoned international skeet shooter and the dark horse, obviously the favorite of the crowd, Bailey Glenowinkle. So let's see if uh, Sean has a no win situation here. That's for sure. He beats her, he's the mad guy. He loses, he's a loser. So let's see which one happens. Flat target, but he handled it. Flat second bird, flat little house, but he handled it. Oh, oh, and she with authority. With authority. Ain't no but a thing. <laughs> Bailey is on her game today, and she'll need to be to beat this international shooter who all these great international shooters have such a great mind game. They're very they have to to compete in the very tough sport of international skiing. Oh, 
and there he goes. He misses the high house. Here it is right here. Bailey can win it right here. She breaks this pair from five to become doubles world champion.